Hold on. And we're back. Just kidding. This is this is take who knows what. My cameraman's kind of. We're just doing a vlog today, uh, showing kind of how we do our behind the scenes shoots for our knives, our Puma videos, um, pictures. Uh, just a little secret of the trade, um, but it's not a secret though. <laughs> yeah, everybody <laughs> else does it. Um, oh. Uh, don't forget, you can also get your patches at TopsKnives.com. We do also have a lot of gear, merch, and stuff at TopsDailyGrind.com. Uh, we have like the UN12 patch, uh, and then we have like the 43rd, 43rd, are you, you showing these patches? Yeah, I showed them. Oh, I didn't see that one. This one, the 43rd place. Um, you can get this on Tops Daily Grind. Uh, so, we also have patches and stuff. But, why the reason we're here today, actually, I'll just pull it out since we're here is we are doing showing two upcoming models uh i'm not sure when this vlog's coming out probably this knife's gonna be all out already but the mpat so we're gonna do a promo video off of that um we already used this one for tne uh, but it's gonna be a sick model it's gonna come out october 4th so if you're seeing this before or after uh, it's gonna be available msrp 250 is it 250 yeah 250 and what's the other one that we're going to show? And then the other one, I'm kind of excited for this one. Well, I'm not going to get one because obviously I don't have a beard, but it's going to be the the tack rake. It's pretty cool. AKA the beard comb. The beard comb, yeah. So stay on the lookout for that. We don't have a release date for this just yet, but I'm sure we're going to announce it pretty soon because it's coming right after the MPAT and it does come with a cool leather sheath. Um, so we decided to come out today. Uh, we call it Twin Bridges. I'm not sure what's the actual technical term. Technical <laughs> term. <laughs> but yeah, we came to Twin Bridges. We love shooting here. It's close by to our That's facility. what it's called, Twin Bridges. Yeah, so we'll keep you updated. I'm back, uh, even though we just stepped uh, 15 feet this way. But this is kind of what we do for our shoots, at least for video side. Um, since we're only doing video today, I don't know if Edgar is going to do some, some pictures, but. I was, but I. I guess who's recording. Yeah, so we got cameraman. Uh, I mean, we can do like a review of our gear, what we usually use. Um, our friends from Banquist hook, hook us up with the backpacks. Awesome camera bags. If you're looking for one, um, hit them up. Uh, so we got the Atomos Ninja 5 for our monitor. Um, and then... We have. What we shoot on is is kind of like a warfare here at work because uh, I'm all Team Sony. Uh, someone that is close to me, I don't want to mention names, picks the worst camera brand. But he shoots on Canon and then his suits at work uh, shoots on Nikon. So we're kind of scattered everywhere. So when you see the good footage is from a Sony and okay footage is from... Okay. <laughs> so this vlog is not up to far. I'm sorry. It's... It's the guy if it looks amazing color, it's because it's <laughs> Canon, that's why. Ah, whatever. But yeah, that's basically what we shoot on. Uh, just, I mean, we can't talk about it anymore because uh, it kind of sets us apart. But it's kind of skill set from there. Uh, we'll shoot on a tripod or a gimbal. It just depends on what day or what we're doing that day. Um, but yeah, maybe we can do a time lapse after this and just show can you. Can I take my pictures now? Yeah, take your pictures. <laughs> See you guys. I can't take no loss. I don't need know what it costs. I hit the ground and it go off. Yeah, hit the ground and it go off. Yeah, I can't take no loss. I don't even know what it costs. Yeah, I hit the ground and it go off. Yeah, hit the ground and it go off. Yeah, yeah, run it, run it. I really feel it's my time. Think it's my year. Yeah, yeah, I really feel it's my time. Think it's my year. Yeah, yeah, I really feel it's my time. Think it's my year. Yeah, yeah, I really feel it's my time. Think it's my hand ready. Used to hold myself bad, my selfish thing damn bad. I gotta keep on chugging. Ran through everything in front of me. Might smoke bed and heavy. Got a whole agenda. Can't as to get ahead, so bump that. It's no surrender. Got a dollar flipped up. I'm trying to get an NFT to get them when they're hand and crypto. Learn how to fix that. I don't really hold out of books, but I'ma learn how to fix that. Some opportunities are never come unless you pay attention. So no, I can't. What are we all doing, John? So, uh, besides taking pictures today, we have a lot of new uh, finishes on a lot of new models. Well, not new models, just old existing models that were switching up the finish. Uh, so we came to take a lot of pictures for that um, in our backyard. So 
it's kind of cool where we're at is we can basically drive like minutes uh this is called I, i'm not sure what the this this part's called but it's just up high sea kelly canyon that's like our ski resort here uh, but it's only like 20 minutes away tops and then it's that long because you have to hit gravel road and stuff but um we have this we can drive like an hour basically anywhere and we'll be in something just like this which is pretty cool uh but we also want to do more TNE on the MPAT, so this will be coming out. I'm not sure when you're seeing this, but it's going to be out October 11th. So stay on the lookout for that. Um, this is uh, it's going to be MSRP on this one is going to be 250. So it's it's definitely in a pretty good price. So what happened on October 4th? Uh, uh, hey look. Exit camera left. <laughs> just kidding guys sorry we we did set october 4th um something pushed it back so we we had a little pushback but they're for sure uh going to be uh, hopefully by your to your dealers so check out your local dealer whoever carries tops and if they're not checking out tops or they're not carrying our tops uh make sure to let them know they can contact us to become dealers but we also want to do some more tne we kind of banged it up last time splitting wood and stuff got a little scratched up but we just want to kind of see what we can put this knife up to um so yeah, Torquay is gonna be out October 11th. Also, that since we're already here, let's see. We brought these two out. Again, I'm not sure when this vlog is gonna go up. I imagine next week. So these are coming out October 4th. Uh, so this is the Tex Creek and the Tex Creek XL. Uh, custom, custom leather sheaths made by the one and the only Little C. Craig hand stitched hand stitched uh, so pull one out so we have a custom Cerakote on these it's a black and orange Cerakote uh, it has the black and orange G10 handles uh, and it, it the cool thing about this tell them what happens every time they start using it okay so the last time we did a finish like this for the custom shop was for the 3v um, and so the more you use this, the black starts wearing out and you have a nice distressing of the orange under. Uh, so you can see it. So it's, it, it looks sick. Um, last time was black and yellow. So this time is going to be black and orange for hunting season. So hopefully, hopefully you can snag one of these up October 4th, 7 6th, p.m. 6th. October, sorry, October 6th. So that'd be a Thursday, yeah, 7, 7 p.m. MST on the Tops Custom Shop. That's where you're going to be able to buy these. Uh, 10 of each? Only 10. So, including these, there's only 10. So, 10 of the small, the regular Tex Creek and, Tex, and 10 of the Tex Creek XL. Uh, MSRP on the regular Tex Creek is 350 and 400 on the XLs. So, great price, great craftsmanship on the sheaths. The yep. knives look awesome. So, hopefully, one of a kind, too. Yep. I said they're only going to be one of a kind, like, yeah, this we're not going to make them anymore. This is the one thing. So if, if you're wondering at home if we're just going to keep making these, no, this is just a one, one time run since it is going on the Topps Custom Shop. So, you guys know, if you guys have been following us, you kind of know how that works. Uh, we usually sell out really quick and uh, hopefully you can snag one of these up, which is going to be awesome. If you can do. we use some knives now? Yeah. Let's, let's go. Uh, so since the pushback of the MPAT, I don't have an exact date when these ones are going to come out, but we're hoping like sometime beginning of September. Uh, this is the September, October, November, sorry, <laughs> November, my bad. The tack rake. Uh, I probably won't be purchasing one of the, purchasing one of these cause I don't really have a beard, but if you do have a beard, just use it as a comb, <laughs> yeah, comb my hair. We are going to have a tack rake. Uh, scales need a little bit of a wax on these, but oil, oil. They need a little bit of oil on these. But yeah, the tack rake's gonna be awesome. You can check that out. And it does come with this leather uh, sheath. So, very nice leather Do you hear that noise? It's Bigfoot. A lot of people don't know me and Bigfoot are like homies. We kick it over here a lot. Um, he's not here right now because he said he's, he's camera shy, just like Chad. <laughs> but we're, we're out here. Um, so yeah, let's, let's shoot some knives. 
before I start chopping on this thing, it's already knocked down. I don't know how it got knocked down. It looks like lightning. Yeah, probably lightning. So I'm not banging on. We didn't knock this down. It was already here. As you can see, I'm not tired or sweating or anything like that. So it, this would have took a long time to chop down. So I'm going to start using the storm vector since I've been wanting to use it for a while. So. chopped three swings and uh i got like a quarter way through the, the log uh we did make a disclaimer so just so you know we didn't knock this down uh there's no clean marks here with a chainsaw or anything must have just been hit by lightning or something you sure you didn't use that <laughs> uh hey look a ladybug <laughs> yeah uh and we do see youtube videos a lot like reviews and we do see like when someone's reviewing, reviewing our knives, our knives are hand sharpened uh, on the grinding belt. Uh, so we do sharpen every single one by hand and they test every single one in the sharpness test. I know you've seen videos of um, a couple guys at the sharpening room cutting paper. So what they're doing is they're testing. So someone's with the grinding belt and then someone else is with the buffing wheel. So with the leather buff buffing wheels. So they are sharp and in, in house. I don't know what to say anymore. Let's go take a pictures. Let's go take pictures.